Hey guys, it's Maria. So I want to explain a little bit about the three different types of ADHD diagnosis. So we used to have two different words. We used to have attention deficit disorder and we used to have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Nowadays, everything is called ADHD and then they have three different subtypes of that. So your first subtype of ADHD, which I don't understand why they did this, but hey, is actually called inattentive ADHD. Now this type does not have the hyperactivity. They're still under the umbrella of ADHD, but they don't actually have hyperactive or impulsive symptoms. These are our kiddos who tend to have just a hard time focusing and concentrating. It's difficult for them to finish an activity. They might have problems with their working memory. Um, sometimes they stare off into space. These are the kids that sometimes we think of as a little, a little distracted, a little off topic, but not because they're doing anything physically to do that. They just tend to lose attention to what they're doing. A lot of girls get diagnosed with inattentive ADHD because they're not disruptive in class. They're just having a hard time concentrating and keeping up with what everybody else is doing. Your, what we would consider typical ADHD kids are going to be ADHD, hyperactive, impulsive. These are what most people think of when they think of ADHD. Those are the ones that are running around the classroom. They have a really hard time sitting in a seat. Um, they tend to blurt out the answers before you finished giving them the question. They just barge in the middle of a conversation without thinking about it. So that is your hyperactivity symptoms, which having a hard time sitting, sitting quietly, doing an activity without talking, finishing an activity because they're all over the place. Um, and also impulsive. They tend to do things without thinking about them. They say things that they shouldn't say, not because they're being mean, but just because they didn't think. They just do. Um, your third type of ADHD is combined type. Now, if kids have enough symptoms on the inattentive side of ADHD and the hyperactive impulsive side of ADHD, if they have six here and six here, then they qualify for combined types. So these kids have ADHD inattentive and ADHD hyperactive impulsive. They, uh, that's a hard one. I mean, they're dealing with all the issues, poor kiddos. I hope that was an easy explanation of the three types. Super simple. It's all considered ADHD, whether you are hyper or not. So, the three types are going to be inattentive, hyperactive, impulsive, and combined. All right, guys, if you have any questions, like always, just let me know. Um, go ahead and subscribe, share, like, do all that stuff. And I will do videos on the things that you asked me to do. So let me know and I'll be right there. All right, have a good day. Bye.